Hey guys, Linda aka The Gamer Girl here, and today we are going to tackle NES and Super NES. Basically, there are also kind of like Mega Drive and, you know, Genesis where I have a good collection, but not a lot, so we're going to cram both of them together, and you're going to get two great systems. How about that? So pretty much I have, um some regular cases and some cases from Chris video game dust sleeves so we're gonna start off with the gist of like the basic cases I have some awesome titles so we'll start off with the Karate Kid Dan29 is gonna like this one John Elway's quarterback some great horror movies Friday the 13th kill for mother next we have Nightmare on Elm Street then we have Tetris. Next we have Mario and Duck Hunt. So it's Mario Bros with the combo Duck Hunt. Next is Knight Rider, followed up by Kung Fu. Up by. Next is a fun game show, Hollywood Squares. Another fun game show, Family Feud. Then it is Magic Johnson's Fast Break. Next is Pipe Dreams, an interesting game concept, Rollerblade, Racer. Next we have a badass Wolverine. Next is Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventures, follow that up by Karate Champ. Now we're going to move into Hacks, Homebrews, and you know games that are literally like 401s so first off is Flappy Bird then it is Kenzie's Beer Run next is New Ghostbusters 2 these ones I got from Pack and Sack Dave these are combos but technically not combos they are um Freddy vs. Jason and Jason vs. Freddy they're Donkey Kong clone hacks where literally both of them are, you know, you get Freddy or you get Jason and you have to beat the other one by going up to the top. Fun concept. I liked it. Then the horror game that started it all for Resident Evil, Sweet Home. And we're going to start with the bundle games. Uh, this was Wisdom Tree. For those that don't know, Wisdom Tree was a Christian-based Bible-style games. And uh, they had a Kickstarter a long time ago, and this was the only Kickstarter that I basically backed because it was some cool concepts, and it wasn't like they're gonna give you like a exorbitant amount of something. It was either you got a plug and play controller, or you got the cart, and I paid a little bit more to get the cart because <laughs> I'm not gonna pay a ton of money for you know all these games that I played when I was younger because that's literally what we were allowed to play. Another bundle that I got was from, I believe, Etsy, and this is a 401 cartridge. It's literally all those, like, um, you know, those little handhelds you get into a cart form, pretty much. So the last NES game that I'm going to show is a homebrew convention quest. I recently picked this up, and it was a, it was a good game. So I enjoy this one. So now we're going to move to Super Nintendo and we'll start off with, I have a Super Game Boy. Um, yeah, I found it. It was decent price. Not bad at all. So the first one is Mortal Kombat, followed up by another great fighter, Killer Instinct, and the game I could play for hours, Super Mario World. Next is American Gladiators, followed up by... Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Ken Griffey Jr. presents Major League Baseball. Nolan Ryan Baseball. Best of the Best. Super Black Bass. Page Master. Troy Aikman's Football. And the next two are game shows that are near and dear to my heart because we used to watch it every week. That's Jeopardy Deluxe Edition. And then we also have Jeopardy Sports Edition. Can't go wrong with any Jeopardy, but kind of hard to play now because I really don't remember the effects from the 90s, but oh well. 
So that's it guys, that is my Nintendo collection and my Super Nintendo collection hacks, homebrews and all. I hope you enjoyed. If you're new, please subscribe and as always keep on gaming everybody. I'll definitely catch you next video. Bye guys. Linda the gamer girl. She's here, she's playing games. Linda the gamer girl. She's here, she's playing games too.